Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to The Power Flow. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We are in the Masala series, shout out on this red color, and it's a 20 minute power flow and I'm uploading a video on a Tuesday and a Thursday. So it's a nice spot to get into a good yogic flow to build up some strength and some heat during your week. We'll be focusing on the breath today. Just simple, synchronizing our breath, one breath, one movement and just focusing on keeping our breaths nice and deep it's in these power flow classes that the breath can shorten so keep an eye out for that and encourage some nice yoga breath so when you're ready grab your mat and let's begin hey welcome back okay so we're going to begin at the top of our mats in a samasiti position bring your hands to pray take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, bring your eyes to close. Take a moment just to tune into your breath. Noticing how it feels to breathe. Take a deep breath in. And open mouth side to release. Another deep breath in. And exhale to release. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring them through to prayer at your heart center. Take a moment just to set an intention for your class. It could be one word, it could be for yourself or for someone else. It's just good to give your practice a bit of direction. And when you finish, you can bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. Blink your eyes open and lower your hands down. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold down to release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank, step back. Stay here just for a moment. Arrive into your plank. You're going to press the ground away, wrap the elbows in. See if you can engage your core. So bring your belly, belly button up towards your spine as you press the ground away. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Keep your elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Gently squeeze the thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, lower your heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Come forward, come high, squeeze and lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg back. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross over, tap and lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg back. Exhale, step through low lunge, place the foot in between your hands. Untuck the back toe. Inhale, arms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, bring them through to prayer. I'm gonna shift the weight forward. As you exhale, prayer twist to the right side. Left elbow comes outside the right knee. Bring your hands to prayer and twist and rotate your spine. Look up towards the sky. And release. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, half splits, drop the hips back and flex your front toes. Release, come forward, raise the back knee. Inhale, look forward, exhale, plank, step back. And shift the weight forward, wrap the elbows in. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels lower down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, come forward and tap. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, cross over and lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step through, place the foot in between your hands, load the back knee. Inhale, Anjaniyasa, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring them through to prayer. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the right side, hook the right elbow outside the left knee. You're gonna use the hands to leverage off the, the knee and twist and rinse the spine up and release. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, half splits, drop the hips back and flex your front toes. Release, come forward, raise the back knee. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plank, step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze the thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, roll over your toes, lower your heels down. 
Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step, jump or float, top of the mat. <clears throat> Inhale, half lift, tuck the chin. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up to the sky. Keep them interlaced above your head. As you exhale, arch over to the left side, squeeze the thighs, half moon shape on the left side, and release. Inhale, reach through center. Exhale over to the right side. Squeeze and point out the fingertips. See if you can rest your head just in between your biceps. Squeeze the thighs. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold down and release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit down into the heels, raise the arms up and breathe. See if you can shift the weight back into the heels, tease your toes up, reach strongly through the fingertips, take a deep breath in, exhale, fold and release. Inhale, half lift, exhale, plank, step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward, exhale, lower halfway, keep your elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze, roll the shoulders back, exhale, down dog, hips up, lower your heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, step through, low lunge, place the foot in between your hands. Inhale, high crescent lunge, press down through the freeze, raise your arms up and breathe. Find balance on the high, on the ball of the back foot. Square, square your hips off, raise your arms up. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, airplane lunge, just shift the weight forward and swim the arms back. You're looking for a straight line from the heel to the back of your neck. Now just your arms move. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, back. See if you can move with your breath. Inhale, reach all the way forward. Exhale, back. Last time. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, back. And release. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, plank, step back. Shift the weight forward, take a deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, keep your elbows, bend up to 90, tuck them in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, lower your heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, step through, place the foot in between your hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, press down, raise the arms up. Again, high in the ball of the back foot, find balance. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane lunge, chest forward, arms reach back. Now, just the arms move. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, swim them back. Keep going with the breath. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Well done. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, plank, hands down, step back. Shift your weight just over the wrists, press the ground away, engage your core. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, lower your heels down, lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, cross over and hold. Now extend the leg out, place it down, open up, fall and star. So you want to turn the hips, reach to the left hand, keep breathing and release. Left hand down, right leg extends back into a side plank. So right arm up and left arm down. You can stack your right leg on top of your left. If you want to reduce it a little bit, you can lower the left knee. If you like a little bit more, raise the right leg up. From here, we're going to step the right foot to the top of the mat. Low lunge. Nice transition. From here, rise up. High crescent lunge. Arms reach up to the sky. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, airplane lunge. Chest forward. Arms swim back. Nice and controlled. Move with the breath. Just the arms move. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Prepare to launch off. Inhale, low flying warrior. Come to balance on the right leg. Left leg comes back. Bring the hands to prayer. If you have a block, you can have them underneath your hands just to give you some support. From here, we're going to stand up. Draw the left knee to the chest. Standing wind remover. 
Now, if you need to find a focal point of the floor, it gives you some balance. And release, figure four. Left foot stacks on top of the right. Bring the hands to prayer. Keep breathing. And release. One legged Tadasana. Lift the left knee up, raise the arms up. Exhale, low flying warrior. We're going to reverse the process. Left leg comes back. Hands to prayer. Strong capital T shape. Touch the foot back down. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, slice open. Readjust the feet. Have the back foot facing slightly in. Bend into the right knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach back. Exhale, extended side. Shift the weight forward. Arm reaches alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach back and prepare. Exhale, plank. Hands down. Step back. Shift the weight forward. Wrap the elbows in. Engage your core. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, lower your heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, cross over and hold. Extend the leg, place it out, open up, fallen star, turn the hips face up to the sky, reach to the right hand. And release, right hand down. And just remove the left leg back, side plank stacks on top of right, left arm up and hold. Again, if you need to, you can lower the right knee down to cool it off. If you want to raise the heat up, lift the left leg up, reach to all the fingertips. Now look towards the top of the mat, step your left foot to the front, low lunge, hands down. Inhale, high crescent lunge, rise up onto the feet and breathe. Readjust yourself, high in the ball of the back foot, square the hips off. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, airplane lunge, chest forward, arms back. Just the arms move. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Prepare to launch. Inhale, low flying warrior. Balance on the left leg, right leg comes up. Strong capital T shape. Find the balance from here, wind remover. Draw the right knee into the chest, interlace the fingers, and draw the, right, the knee up towards the right shoulder. Flex the feet, knock the hips back, draw the shoulders back, and release. Figure four, right foot stacks on top of left. Bring the hands to prayer and sit down. Flex your right foot a lot. Shift the weight into the back heel. Feel the stretch on the outside of the right hip. And release, Tadasana. Knee comes up, raise the arms up. Exhale, low flying warrior. Bring the hands to prayer, strong capital T shape. Find balance on the left foot. Focus on a focal point and release the foot back down. Inhale, arms reach up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, slice open. Back foot is facing slightly in. Bend into the left leg, stack your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm, reach all the way back. Exhale, extended side, shift the weight forward. Reach the arm alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back and prepare. Exhale, plank, windmill the hands down and step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, over the toes, squeeze, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, lower your heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top in a wide-legged squat. So feet hip width distance apart. Inhale, wide-legged chair, sit down and breathe. So sit into the heels, reach strongly through the arms. And from here, we're gonna make our way all the way down, all the way down to the ground, squat into the heels. If you need to, you can use your hands to support. Well done, we're gonna touch down, raise our legs up into a quick round of core. It's always good to build your core strength. So we're gonna move into Navasana or boat pose, have your feet your shins parallel to the floor, you can always cool it down, feet down. Again, find something that feels good. You want to keep your chest nice and straight. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, low boat. Come slowly down, find the balance, and rise up. And lower all the way down. Engage the core and rise up. Keep going. Exhale down. Inhale up. Inhale down. And up, last time, last one down to hold for three, two, one, and release. Well done. Draw the knees into the chest.
Give yourself a good squeeze. You're gonna rock from front to back. I'm gonna make our way up onto our seat. I'm gonna extend the right leg out. Left leg comes in. From here, you're gonna inhale, shift the arms up, exhale, twist towards the straightened leg and fold. Now, if your hamstring is feeling a little tight, you can introduce a little bend into the right leg. Do you wanna keep your spine nice and straight, encouraging a good belly to thigh connection. Keep shifting the weight forward and then down instead of straight down into the ground. And release, we're gonna switch the legs out. Left leg goes out, right leg comes in. Flex your left foot. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Twist towards the straightened leg, shift the weight forward and release. And release. And place the feet down, have your knees facing up. Shift the hands towards the back of the feet. And it's towards the back of the mat, have your shoulders stacked up your wrist, fingers and toes facing the same direction. We're gonna move into a reverse tabletop. So take a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, lift the hips up towards the sky and hold. You wanna engage the core, lift the hips up as much as possible. It's a nice, strong core strengthening exercise and good stretching for the shoulders. Take a deep breath in, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, release, place the, your seat down, extend the legs out. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, shift the weight forward and release. And release, we're gonna roll up. As you exhale, we're gonna lower down onto our backs. Well done, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. I'm gonna figure four, the right foot on top of the left. Interlace onto the front shin or onto the hamstring, depending on how it feels. And then you wanna draw back, tuck the chin, flex both feet and feel a good stretch on the outside of the right hip. and release. Gently place the foot back down. I'm gonna switch the legs out. Left foot stacks on top of right. Flex the feet. Swing your hands through into lace. And as you exhale, draw back gently onto the floor. Gonna draw both knees in, send both heels up to the sky, taking hold of the outer blades of the feet, moving into a happy baby. And if the feet are too much, you can always take hold of the knees, giving them a good squeeze. If you have hold of the feet, make sure it's the outer blades, and you wanna draw down with the arms, so you can tuck your chin and draw your shoulders onto the floor, and then kick up with the feet to try and get your tailbone to the floor. So it's still a very active posture. Instead of just holding onto the feet, you really wanna draw down with the hands and kick up with the feet and having the legs move outwards. If you can, you can always add in a little rock from left to right. And the aim is to try and eventually get your spine flat onto the floor. It is quite strong, but over time it does release and it does feel really good to make contact with the ground. Take one more breath in, feel your belly rise. Exhale, release. Draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a good squeeze. Raise the forehead up to the knees. Take a moment just to reconnect with your intention. Exhale, release into Shavasana. Well done. 20 minute power flow complete. Hope you're feeling good, and hot and sweaty. Give your palms up, toes out. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let it go. Allow your body to come to rest and stillness. Give yourself a few rounds of mindful breath, just observing the breath with your attention, giving yourself some time to slow down and soak your practice up.
As always, it was a pleasure sharing the space with you. See if you can land Shavasana for a little longer than you normally would. Well done again for putting effort into your practice and into this channel. And I'll see you here next time on the mat. Namaste.